Hi, so today we will discuss about how to create a WhatsApp template. So as we all know that once we log into our admin credentials, the first thing that we come across is the screen. This is the dashboard that we call, which will give us a complete overview of your account, including the summary, analysis and all the shortcut keys as well. Now, in order to check the check and set up the template, WhatsApp template, what we need to do is we need to go into a particular campaign and in that particular campaign, we need to go into the engagement form and from there itself, we need to set up the WhatsApp template or a format. So for that, what we need to do? First, we need to go to the pipeline on the left hand side. So we need to figure it out that in which pipeline that particular campaign has been present where we want to set up the WhatsApp template or format so that our users would be able to call on that leads and able to send the message as well. So let us do it for sales itself. Our purpose is for sales. We'll go to sales. So for the sales purpose, this pipeline is there and in this particular pipeline, whatever the campaigns have been created for the purpose of sales, all the campaigns are been visible at the right hand side. So let us select for any of the campaign like uh, let's go for testing. I'll go for testing. I'll get entered into the testing campaign. We'll get all the details like all the summary and all the statistics, the complete analytics, the overview we are getting it from you. Okay. Now, if in case we want to uh, like set up a WhatsApp template in an existing existing campaign, what we need to do? We need to go to the action button at the top right corner. Once we go to the action button, there's the engagement form option, the second option. Once we click on engagement form, we can see there's a form present over you. So what I'll do is first I'll remove it all or else it will be a bit confusing to understand. So that's why whatever the question is, is being created already. I'll remove it off for now so that it will be easier for us to understand how to set up. So now we can see the engagement form is completely blank. Now. But in the left hand side, the complete question types are available. In the left hand side, we can see question types and under that all the type of question types are available. Now in order to create a WhatsApp template, what we need to do? We need to click on the send message option that is present at the third last, third last in the under the question types section. So now we we'll click on send message, we'll drag and drop to the right hand side. Now over here we can see, hi contact name, thanks for getting in touch with us. So whatever the message template and format we want to put it up, we need to send it across our customers. We need to set it up over here. In the place of thanks for getting in touch with us, we'll simply paste our message format and template over here. No matter what, whatever the length is and whatever the word limit are, we can just put it over here, no matter what. There would be no issue. And we can see the high contact name and regards username. Both the contact name and username are in some different format. That is in double bracket and underscore. That means these are variables. It will automatically fetch up the details from the database. The lead details, the lead name will also get fetched up and who is calling and who is messaging that particular name will also get fetched up over you because in a particular campaign level we are setting it up and in that particular campaign there will be multiple users will be added so that's why whoever will log in and whoever will try to call up from this particular campaign and try to message it automatically the lead name and the username will get captured from the user portal and then whatever the message we need to send it across we'll set it up over here it will show them another preview section and it will then they will get an option to send it across through three mediums sms email and whatsapp and then they can simply choose in whatsapp and then send it across that's all so this is how we can set up the whatsapp template or message format in an existing campaign but if we just uh, and yeah whatever the setups will do after that it's very much mandatory to click on save changes from the top right corner then only the changes will get saved or else it won't so if i just go back once and at the top, there are a few campaigns which have created very recently. So I click on testing 007. Over here, nothing has been done. Upload, upload leads and all. So at the top right corner action, again the engagement form. And in the engagement form, what we need to do? We can just, if this questions we need it, we can do it. We can uh, keep it or else we can edit it off. Or else we can simply uh, drag and drop the send message option to the right hand side and we can apply the message format whatever the message format we want that our users should send it across and in the message format itself there is an option called display on not connected if you enable it that means that particular message format will be visible in the not connected section also and if you want that there would be two different messages for not connected and for yes connected then we'll drag and drop twice one we will enable this option display on not connected and one we won't enable that option we'll keep it disappear so that 
this particular message format, whatever you will set it over here, it will be visible on the connected calls. So yeah, that's all about the setting of the message format or a WhatsApp template. So that's all. Thank you.